Yo, what's good guys? It's Johto Giraffe here, and we got a ton of mail from Japan. A few of these, or I guess majority of these, are individual cards, but I think a few in the back are gonna be lots of cards. You know, like, probably like more than 20 or something. So, without further ado, let's just open these up and see what's inside of them. Also, huge disclaimer, there is going to be a ton of cards, so this video is going to be very long, so just want to put that out there. If you guys are interested in what I bought, then I would stick around for the entire video because there's a ton of awesome stuff that I bought, so let's get into it. So with all the cards out of the packaging, let's actually look at the first one. So we got this one right here. Let me actually take it out of the top loader. And as you can see, we got this right here. We have a Bandai card ass. I believe this is part three and four. This is a checklist card, as you can see from the back right here. There's a list of Pokemon, not all 151, because I think there's two checklists, but this is one of them. And I think this is the more desired art because we see red right there. We see a Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. Just all around them. I love the rainbow border as well. And this one, it's definitely not in the best condition because there is a crease at the top so I bought this purely as a binder collection so glad to add this to the collection because I feel like I got this for a very good price. I was finally able to find one for a decent price because I feel like people are selling these for stupid amounts even though like the condition is like creased or whatever so very happy about this so this is the first one. Next we have two cards in their top loaders and these, once you turn it around, you'll be able to see it very clearly. So we got two new hollows from Fossil. These are very clean copies, and my personal favorite is the one on the right because there is a little swirl right there by its tail. But yeah, these two new copies are very clean. I'll probably send them to PSA and very excited about that. So two new hollows from Fossil. Next, let's get into this. And I honestly bought so many and consolidated so many of them. I don't really know what's in what, so it's gonna be a surprise for me as well. And for this one, I like how they use non-Pokemon cards to protect the card itself. And I believe these are Duel Masters and these are holographic. So if anyone is interested, let me know in the comments below. But we see a card right here in a Mew sleeve. And if we turn it over, oh, this is, okay. So this one, it is double sleeve, which is very nice. So we do have a Mew from Secret Wonders is the English set, and I believe it's Shining Darkness for the Japanese. And this copy is clean as well. I love Mew. I want to build a Mew collection, both PSA and binder copies. So yeah, I thought it would be a great addition. So very happy about that. Also, this artwork is done by Himeno, one of like the goats in the hobby. So very happy about that. So. Yeah, we got a Mew and a Mew sleeve, very fitting. And another one. We got some more Duel Masters cards if anyone is interested. But if we turn it over... Oh, nice, nice, nice. Very, very nice. So we got a lot of the Heart Gold Soul Silver campaign promo. So we got the Chikorita. We have a Cyndaquil, Totodial, a Mareep, Fanfi, and a Teddy Ursa. And these cards are very clean. I think the only problem card was this Totodile, which has this little, um, I guess, crease right there. But fortunately, I do have a PSA 10 copy of this, so this will definitely go in the binder. But the rest of these, I do plan on sending to PSA. Um, just take a quick look at all of them. Cyndaquil, love it. Love Cyndaquil so much. We also can't forget about Chikorita, the Grass Starter, and of course, Mareep and Fanfi, and the Teddy Ursa I did show. So yeah, got a lot of six, so do plan on picking up more just because I love the set, so on to the next one. If you guys are curious to know how to ship your cards, I would definitely learn from Japanese people because they definitely know how to protect their cards in shipping. But for this one, again, we got some more Duel Masters cards, but if we... Oh, some hollows as well. But if we turn it over... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Alright, so I bought a lot of 10 of the Gardevoir illustration promos. This was from, I believe, 2019. I might need a fact check, but this was done in the year before the Charizard one, so love the colors on this. I believe the same artist did the new from Celebration, so the sunset pattern, the whole design is very similar to that, so very true to, I guess, the illustrator themselves. So yeah, I bought three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 copies of these, and overall the conditions of these are pretty good, so 
plan on sending a few to PSA, and yeah. So, illustration promos, love them. So let's take a look at this one. This is held in cardboard. So these are some VS hollows, more specifically like the steel and dark types, and also like the energies as well. And the condition of these, I would say it's like near mint, but I mean, there's obviously some warping because of like the temperature changes, but I don't know. Um, maybe I'll send a few in to grade depending on the condition because I don't think PSA really docks points for like the warp unless it's like creased really badly. But yeah, um, depending on the condition, I'll either add it to my binder or send them off to PSA. So we got a Bugsy Scizor, Faulkner Skarmory, a Bruno Steelix by Mori, a Steel Energy, Price's Sneasel, a Morty's Murkrow, Dark Energy, and a Rainbow Energy as well. So yeah, love VS, love the set so much, so yeah. Alright, this low-key might be a postcard, but I don't remember buying a postcard. But going along the theme of the Versus series, I did get a Karen's Tyranitar as well, and this one is definitely going to be a binder copy, looking at the edges, but very nice. I need to flesh out my hollow collection for my binder, so very happy to pick this one up. And if you can't tell by the packaging, I think this is in a similar vein to the previous card, and this one is another Morty's Murkrow. I just felt this one would fit a binder more, and the other one that I showed earlier would be more of a PSA copy, so... I mean, I don't really mind having multiple copies of the VS set because I just love this set so much. So yeah, another Morty's Murkrow. Very nice. I think it's very interesting to see how different sellers package cards in different ways because we see people using just like penny sleeves and like, you know, these like clear card backs where other people just use a literal cardboard. <laughs> Gotta perform a little bit of surgery so we don't damage the card itself. And continuing with the Versus set, we do have a TM, a Rockets TM, number one. We see a little Rocket grunt in the background in the shadows right there. But yeah, the TMs are a very interesting item. Um, I don't really know what it does per se, but it is from the Versus set. And these are very, not hard to come by, but they're a lot less common than the actual like Pokemon cards, like the creature cards themselves in this set. So definitely thought I'd pick up a few to flesh out my binders. So another VS card. Alright, so this one is in some bubble wrap, interestingly enough, so don't really know what this could be, but there's one way to find out, and what an interesting way to, I guess, put the top loaders on the outside compared to in the card itself. Oh, okay, so these are the legend promos, the one that I showed earlier, these have one card inside, so as you can see on the back, so the six promos, there's one card inside and it's completely random, so I picked up a lot of three for fairly cheap, and yeah, hopefully these copies will be more, I guess, viable for PSA because they're pack fresh, pack fresh, um, I guess, but yeah, so I bought three, so maybe look for a video in the future of when I open this, but yeah, got three. Let's hope for some Cyndaquils and all three, that'll be the best, but yeah. And next we got a huge lot of Koro promos, so if you guys are familiar with Koro Koro, it's a magazine and they put out promo cards of different Pokemon, I guess, back in the day. So I bought a big lot. I believe the total count of the cards was around 90. So let me just take these cards out and let's just look through them. So we're starting off with a slow bro. We got a slow king, a few copies of these guys, three of them, a Bulbasaur. So I like how he kind of grouped them together based on, I guess, what Pokemon it is or what card it is. We have a computer error. Promo with the R symbol, the rocket symbol right there. A decent chunk of these. We do have, actually a lot of them, uh, Blaine's Growlithe, Coral Promo. And I think the condition of these are probably like near mint 7, so definitely can't complain. Um, definitely want to send a few to PSA if I can. Uh, Rocket's Meowth. A few promo cards of that. A LT Surge uh, Electabuzz. A few of these. Actually, a good amount of these. A LT Surge's Jolteon, love this artwork so much. It's like a zoomed in picture. I think on Pokemon Snap, this will get a pretty high grade. A Abra, Sabrina's Abra as well. And moving on to the second half, we do see on the top, we do see a Brock's Onyx. A few copies of these guys. A Erica's Dratini, love this artwork of Dratini. And what else? We got a Misty's Staryu. I was about to say Horsey. A, I guess, Igglybuff? I think this is so cute. It's like a mating call or something, and like, one's a girl, one's a boy. Maybe. That's just my theory. A Wooper, with another Wooper in the back. The classic Tensugumori stock image, just like, printed on the card. A single scissor, and the background is pretty interesting. It's like a wormhole or something, like, I don't know. Time traveling or something. We got a Jigglypuff. A few of these. A Electabuzz. These were given out for the movie promo in English, so... I'm Pretty sure you guys know this artwork. Got a Imakuni 
the GOAT. Man, this guy is so interesting. He's such an interesting character. We got a trainer card. Don't know what this is called. And I think this is it. Our Togepi. Oh, JK, we got a Giovanni's Noodle King. Two copies of that. And last but not least, we're ending it off with some Brock's Mankeys. So these are all Coral Coral promos. These are all glossy on top. Or I think majority of them are glossy. And some are just like matte. Whereas like this Bulbasaur is very, very glossy. I guess, can you even see it? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Glossy. It's kind of matte. So yeah. And this lot was also from the same seller that I bought the Coral promos from. And if we take everything out. Oh, wow. So they actually put it in like these hard plastic cases. Oh, so okay, maybe I spoiled that for you, but let me actually look at these cards first. So we do have some, I believe these are called like Safari Zone cards or something. So on the first one, we do see a Kadabra, Mewtwo, and a Rhydon. On the second one, we see a Haunter, Ghastly, and a Cubone. And I think with their respective stats or something, maybe a Scyther, Nidorina, and Nidorino. A rule card, we got three of these, so three different rule cards. Um, I think the artwork is very interesting. Habu definitely makes it stand out from the usual trainer cards, so we got three of these. We also got this Imakuni card um, with him wearing like a red mask or like a red costume compared to the usual black one that he wears, like as you can see right there. And for our big hitters, we got this one right here. We do have a Uyama's Pikachu. Dr. Uyama. Don't really know, I guess, what his role was in the Pokemon hobby, but he drew a few cards and I'm a big fan of it. Maybe he's just an illustrator, but yeah, I love this card so much. And we also have some more Imakuni cards. We got this one right here with him just chilling, um, I guess, in his room or something. And last but not least, we do have another Uyama card, and this is like a factory of how Pokemon cards are made. So it's very, I mean, obviously it's hand-drawn, but I think I like the overall design of it. It's very, um, I don't know. It's kind of simple, but then again, it's not. Like, the card designs are very simple, but then I think the machinery in the back is very complicated and stuff, so... Yeah, and all of these have this very interesting white back, as you would get from the vending series if you peel them off. Because I think there's four panels, and these are usually on the top right panel. So if you peel these off, that is the cards that you get. And I think these were from the vending 3 series, so yeah. Decent lot of vending cards, and let's move on to two more packages. Next we have this pretty generic black binder, but I am a fan of this little mascot right here, this bunny mascot. But if we open it up, we do have a complete set of Southern Islands. Unfortunately, it did not come with the binder itself, but let me actually take it out of the rings. Oh shoot, I didn't know it swiveled out like that, but let's take it out of the rings real quick and just take a quick look at these cards. So these are the cards from the Japanese Southern Island set. The English side did get this, but personally for me, I like the Japanese one a little bit more because I feel like the hollow pattern is a lot more cleaner, especially on the Mew. And instead of having like the bright yellow borders, this one has like a gradient goldish brownish hue around the border. So it's a lot more, I guess it's not as prominent as the English ones. And on to the second one, we do see some more here. We have a look tongue, primate and all that. So I believe there's three hollows on each page. So this one features Meryl, a Slow King, and a Vileplume. Whereas the first page, it was a Togepi, a Mew, and a ladybug so yeah got a full set of this i do want to get i guess the postcards as well along with the binders so that will come later down the line and let's get into our final package right here and for those that stuck around to the very end thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it and i think you guys are in for a treat so this one we do have the 2004 Japanese play promo, the Mew promo from the second season, and this was given out to players who, I guess, attended the second season of the Players Club. It's a PSA 9, and let's just take a quick look at this artwork. I love this artwork so much. It is Japanese exclusive, and I got this for a steal. And when I mean a steal, I mean a steal. This was such a good value and I had to snag it up so very happy that I was able to pick this up. We do see a little P symbol right there denoting it is a player's promo. This is another goal that I have in the future is to get a full PSA 9 set of the play promos including the gold star Umbreon and Espeon so that'll be a long-term goal but definitely excited to at least start with this one right here which is probably one of the best artworks in the play promo set but 
yeah that is gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it hopefully you guys did enjoy all these cards that i bought hopefully it was entertaining to you guys hopefully you guys learned something from this but yeah recently i've been on a huge buying spree from japan so i do need to i guess get some self-control and like calm down a little bit but i am going heavy on japanese so you might see a little shift in direction with my content but hopefully you guys are still in it for the journey and yeah but i think that is gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace